Hello, this is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. We are here at RSNA 2023. We are here with Arno Koldeve. He is head of product at Deep Sea, and Dr. George Cardoso. He is associate professor at King's College London. Gentlemen, thanks for being with us. It's great to be here, Brian. Thank Absolute you. Absolute pleasure. Absolute pleasure. So let's talk a little bit about Deep Sea. This is a, a, a technology that you're, you're showing here, the company and technology you're showing here at RSNA. Can you tell us a little bit about the technology challenge that uh, Deep Sea is addressing? So basically with our end-to-end -end AI platform, uh, we enable uh, clinicians, radiologists in their reading workflow to receive all the uh, relevant AI outputs and to be assisted in their workflow completely. Obviously, a, uh, a hospital is not able to integrate all of all the different AIs that we also see, see here at the show uh, separately from an integration perspective, uh, security, privacy, everything. And basically, with the Deep CoS platform, we standardize the complete procurement, installation, and, um, uh, and security into one single platform that integrates in one way into your healthcare IT environment. So the idea here is to make it easier for institutions to uh, adopt and implement AI. Absolutely, yes. And But the key thing is what we bring is that our platform is a vendor neutral platform, which basically means that we're not deciding today which algorithm is going to be the best one in today or two years from now or in five years from now. We are open to work together with all partners. And the key thing is, is that we feel that our responsibility is is that the hospital is able to find the exact right algorithm uh, that fits their patient population uh, and their clinical need. Now, what would you say is kind of unique about Deep Sea's technology? Uh, so basically the latter, what I just explained. So the fact that we are uh, vendor neutral and allow and work together with, uh, with the hospitals really as a partner to start understanding which algorithms, because for a single clinical use case today you have various vendors. You actually see them on the booth here. And in order to better understand uh, which ones actually perfectly work, um, that is where together with the uh, AI evaluator that we have, we provide a three-stage ability to allow you to uh, first test out the sample images, then easily test them on your data, and then roll them out in shadow mode into your clinical environment, such that you are completely confident that you're picking the right algorithm and are investing in the right technology that works for your clinical need. Now, the Deep Sea platform is being used at King's College, and uh, Dr. Cardoso, can you talk a little bit about how things are going there? Of course, uh, so the platform is currently being deployed uh, at King's College London. And really the idea is that we have a single unique platform that our clinicians can trust to deploy these solutions and centralize all of the management and all of the installation and all of the things that come with it. But more importantly than that is King's College London is now partnering with EPC to go into the next phase of AI development. There's many different advancements happening at the moment, all the way from AI safety and from trustworthy AI to the interaction with the research world and research and development. And Kings and Deep Sea are joining forces really to try to push that idea forward. Perfect. Now here at RSNA, uh, is the relationship with Kings one of the big highlights that Deep Sea is showing? Uh, absolutely. So uh, part of it is uh, the collaboration on the, uh, uh, on the Monai uh, project. Uh, so basically Deep Sea is uh, announcing that we're um, Monai map uh, compatible, but which basically means that these are our first steps, and that is what we will really build out in, 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 in the next year, uh, is our first steps in supporting uh, the medical imaging uh, research community. And making sure that a an, uh, uh, researcher who has developed their Monai map, that they can actually now very easily um, be able to run that on Deep COS into their clinical environment. Very exciting. So what, what can we look forward to seeing from Deep Sea in 2024? Now, so basically to really build out on the AI safety uh, direction, we really need to make sure, and that is, that is sort of the responsibility that we have as an as a AI marketplace, is to really start making sure that we can monitor the clinical performance of 
uh, of the algorithms real life in, in their environment and really be able to then provide the feedback such that uh, we can ensure that uh, the hospitals are using the right solutions, uh, that there are no better solutions out there that they could start to, uh, start to leverage. And in future, what will happen is based on your uh, specific uh, the, 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 the specific background of the patient, it might actually make, uh, make sense for the same clinical use case that you actually use uh, one algorithm uh, and for another patient you use another. And that is the direction where from, a, um, yeah, from an AI marketplace vendor neutral perspective where the, where the industry needs to move towards. Sounds great. Well, uh, Arnold Coldeve of Deep Sea, uh, Dr. George Cardoso of King's College, uh, good talking to you and we'll look forward to seeing more from Deep Sea in 2024. Thank you very much. Signing off from RSNA 2023, my name is Brian Casey.